Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and could a certain Aquaman starlet actually serve 14 years in prison? It's actually more possible than you think. And here is the proof. Australia is, in fact, investigating her for perjury, and it can have up to 14 years of a jail term. Now, we've talked about this. We had Christopher Meltron, and we broke this down. But this clip is recirculating, and I hadn't seen it before. It's hard evidence that, yes, she is being investigated by the Senate Rural and Regional Affairs uh, and Transport Legislation Committee over there in Australia. Now, the reason this is relevant again today, aside from this TikTok just going viral because a lot of people didn't realize this was actually a real thing which we did report to you here first uh it's it's actually getting away um, getting more headway now because adam waldman johnny depp's attorney is actually in australia now again we're, speculation here on lara's part but who knows uh could he be presenting evidence there regarding the amber heard investigation into her perjury during the doggy gate case i'm gonna break all down what this means but here lauren noticed in a thread on instagram someone asked waiting for adam for news we need more adam wh where are you and adam re responded with the australian flag why is he in australia now again we're speculating like crazy but Breaking down what this means, it's now suddenly more relevant. Could Adam Waldman actually be in Australia helping to give any more information needed to give this committee what they need to actually persecute that woman who I, I just, guys, I try not to say her name because I don't want to keep giving her the attention that she wants. It's like Voldemort, Lady Voldemort. Will she actually serve sense here? Let's watch this clip. This clip's older, but I think still relevant and will show you how serious these allegations truly are. There was a question this morning in relation to Amber Heard. I can confirm the department is investigating that matter. So there was um, evidence presented in the London court case which... Uh, suggested false statements were provided in the court case in Australia in 2016, so we are investigating that. Uh, so, then, so what's the timeline? You expect the, that investigation decision made about... Um, yeah, as I understand it, the, the former state manager of uh, Johnny Depp, uh, Kevin Murphy, said in a witness statement that he was told, that he told, uh, heard, and I quote, by email, telephone and in person that she could not take the dogs to Australia because the relevant paperwork and permits were not complete and the required 10-day quarantine arrangements had not been put in place. Murphy continued, Miss Heard later told the court in Australia that I had told her it was fine to bring the dogs into Australia. That is false and I never told her this. Yes, so Senator, that we understand that to be the case or the evidence provided in the London court case and giving a false testimony is an offence under the Crimes Act, so that is what we are now investigating. Now, she didn't answer the question of what the timeline is, which I'm still waiting for because it's been a little while, but to see that Adam is out there in Australia, one hopes it's connected to this. Who knows if it truly is? Now, what is this whole Australia case? I want to break it down one more time for those of you who are just tuning in or you missed it because it's worth the recap. Uh, before we get there, though, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me. Hit the bell for all alerts so you actually get notified and help the engagement by smashing that like button and leaving a comment down below to become part of our community, our amazing Popcorn Planet community. We keep you updated on all the updates and news and you're not going to want to miss it as we get into some more pop culture justice. And oh my goodness, we got some big stuff coming. Coming, so make sure you don't miss out. But so what happened here? And let's go through that actual uh, uh, statement from Kevin Murphy, the assistant who said Amber made her lie. Uh, so here, the legal trouble continues as the defamation against Johnny. She's now being investigated allegations of perjury. Now, this is, again, today's uh, sharing. A lot of people, even though we've reported on it, a lot of people are still finding this out. And I think it's important to put it out there because it's a huge credibility thing. Um, and it proves she perjured herself in Australia. Now, Australia has severe uh, quarantine and biosecurity laws, as it says here. They do not like other things coming in to mess up with their wildlife. Australia has lots of plants and animals and just different things. And if you were to take some away or introduce new ones, it could really F it up. So they're very, very, very litigious and careful about their laws and about people who break those laws in their biosecurity and, and quarantining and, you know, all that jazz. And so what happened is when they were visiting Australia during the Pirates of the Caribbean 5, they broke those laws. 
They did not declare their Yorkshire Terriers. Yes, Pistol and Boo, the ones that created Poogate. Uh, when they flew into the country, she falsif she pled guilty to falsifying travel documents in April 2016. However, in April 2021, it was revealed Australia's Department of Agriculture, Water and en Environment was investigating claims of perjury against her. Uh, because of that UK trial and the testimony that came about, and a forum employee gave testimony about the dogs, told the, high, the, the London court that Heard had ordered him to lie under oath after she flew her pets into Queensland in a private jet. Now, here's where that statement gets interesting. Uh, this is from Kevin Murphy, one of Amber's assistants. Uh, in October 2015, Heard was subject to criminal proceedings in Australia for illegally smuggling her and Mr. Depp's dogs into the country. On October 11th, the 12th, Ms. Heard asked me to contact her former assistant, Ms. Kate James, who we saw in testimony. She does not like Amber. Uh, and asked Ms. James to lie under oath to the Australian court pers persecuting Ms. Heard. Specifically, Ms. Heard wanted Ms. James to give a false statement that Ms. Heard was unaware that it would be illegal for her to bring her dogs in Australia. Ms. Heard was aware that this was illegal because I had informed her repeatedly by email, telephone, and in person. I told Ms. Heard that I was uncomfortable with giving a false statement to the court and that I would not ask Ms. James to do so. Before asking me to request that Ms. James gave such a statement, Ms. Heard forwarded me an email she had received from her lawyer, Marty Singer, dated October 11th, stating, if you could get Kate to sign a statement, it could be helpful. I don't know what your relationship with her is at this time, since you fired her. You would have to be careful that she will cooperate and will not go public. This doesn't sound sus at all, right? If you ask her, uh, you know, not to be truthful, Miss Heard responded on the same date, stating, Marty, I'm waiting to hear back from you uh, before I reach out to Kevin to liaise with Kate A.H. Further email from Miss Heard, copy Miss Singer. Kevin, do you think you could get her to do it? Basically, lie, not be truthful. Although I did not attempt to solicit a false statement from Miss James, Miss Heard told me verbally shortly after that that there was too much risk that Miss James would go public with the truth regarding her knowledge that the dogs could not legally travel to Australia. Uh, shortly after Miss Heard's request that I obtain a false statement, Miss Heard demanded verbally that I myself make a false witness statement regarding the dog's legal entrance. I expressed that I was extremely uncomfortable doing so, to which Miss Heard responded with the words of the effect, Well, I want your help on this. I wouldn't want you to have a problem with your job. Ms. Heard's threatening language made me feel anxious and uneasy. As stated above, I instructed Ms. Heard on a number of occasions by email, telephone, and person that she could not take the dogs to Australia because the relevant paperwork were not completed within the required 10 days of quarantine arrangements. Uh, I also informed that the criminal penalties for knowingly smuggling animals in Australia without following the correct procedures could be severe. I further reminded her that the requirements were more stringent, penalties more severe in Australia than the Palmas, where Miss Heard had previously smuggled the dogs on previous occasions. I understood that Miss Heard later told the court in Australia that I had told her it was fine to bring the dogs in Australia. That is false. I never told her this. Uh, so yeah, this statement really isn't helping <laughs> that woman uh, in Australia. So yeah, this is happening. This is real. And it's very encouraging to see Mr. Waldman out there in Australia, or at least putting those flags out because this is clearly code for something. Something is coming. So that way you guys need to be prepared. When this is official, we will keep you on notice. But it, it makes me think if this really does happen, if they actually do, you know, per pursue her for perjury, well, then what happens to the UK trial? Could that actually change things? Could that make our petition that our own black belt barrister, barrister is putting together, could that make it even more fitting that this get overruled? Because you got to remember, a lot of Judge Nichols and the UK's ruling was based off of the UK, of the Australia thing. And, well, there was no proof that she actually did it and a lot of other stuff. So I'm going to bring in Daniel Blackbelt Barrister to discuss this. What are the ramifications of the UK trial? Could Australia's perjury charge actually affect and help us reopen this appeal in the UK? I will give you those answers with him tomorrow, which we've pre-taped. So stay tuned for that. Again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You're not going to miss my conversation with Daniel uh, tomorrow as we 
break down that information because yes i'm actually trying to get off this weekend that's why a lot of this may be taped and if other news happened my apologies i'm trying to take a break i hope you guys enjoy your weekend as well but i wanted to give you some content that was prepared ahead of time so i could check out and enjoy some peace with my family i hope you guys enjoy your weekend we will give you some more videos in case you want to watch some uh because you want to get away from your family i don't know why or what but we're here for you i appreciate you guys we will try to be live today later today for a little bit if not catch us next week all weekdays in the afternoon here on popcorn planet